What up, SM Hit Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl Mel. Yes. Welcome, SM Squad. Welcome How are back. you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, have you having a rough day? We're going to do our best to turn it around with some good energy plus some good content, all right? All so, right. my lovely wife, what do we have today, babe? Black woman demolished Kamala Harris and the Democrat Party. Uh oh. Okay, so it's uh -oh. looking like she's in some type of court setting. That's what it looks like. But it looks like she might be a little frustrated. She might be a little upset. Well, let's hear what um, she has to say. So, guys, before we get into it, smash that like button. Turn on all notifications. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right? Here we go. Bless them for their courage. They care about their city. Here's the bottom line right here. You don't hang no signs about black people hating no immigrants. Because black people ain't got no reason to hate on no immigrants. We everything y'all are in there, son. Let me tell you something. You get them signs down. Anytime that Alden and Lawson and just Silverstein can, and what's that other one, can sit up here and talk about how they should get a hate crime bill because swastiks was in Ziploc bags in their community, they hung this in our community. That's we want right. it off them poles. We want that to be the beginning of a hate crime. And that organization, which is a white liberal organization, like in the words of Malcolm X, who told us what? That the white liberal is the worst enemy to the black man. And it is coming up in here, acting like y'all representing some social justice. When all along, all you're doing is trying to use black people to find a reason to make some money. Let me tell y'all something Whoa. over there. We're done. Let's stop it right there for a minute. I this lady agree. is frustrated. She's going off. I can agree. I've seen it so many times. You know, the race baiting. Yeah. The using black people for the election. And then when it comes to when you get when they get elected into office. It's a different ball game. It's right? a different ball game. The communities aren't changing. Right. It's been the same since I was a kid. And it just seemed like, you know, black people are fed up tired of being used as like puppets you know yes and Malcolm um, X I think his views I believe in his views yes like she said absolutely and she is frustrated and she is fed up guys here we go she's going in done. the Democratic Party is done you ain't gonna mess with us like this no more I'm telling you what I'm telling you Trump gonna come in here and gonna clean it up I'm telling y'all the ones that got a righteous heart, you leave the Democratic Party. Do just like RFK Jr. Just do like that Tulsa lady. You better get up out the Democratic Party. Save yourself. Save your families. Save your dignity. Save your jobs and save your seat. Because if y'all don't, we coming for your seats. We ain't taking this no more. We ain't taking no disrespect from a bunch of people who have broken to the country and now have completely broke the city, have completely broke the country, have completely disgraced the United States of America. America is a disgrace. And for us, oh my God, for the solution, you give us a fake, black, cackling hand of a candidate. With a vice president that talking about he want to put tampons in the boys' bathroom. Ain't nobody dealing with this. The number one function of a president is to be the commander in chief. You tell me anything about a Carmela Harris that looked like she could protect this country after y'all just sat up here and that you get her overridden with a bunch of illegals. Y'all just sat up here and put America's hands in all kind of wars. And you telling me a tampon man that ran from duty don't even know what his rule was. Carmela Harris, who don't know what race she is, gonna protect this country? The devil is a lie. Y'all better get them signed. Thank you, Miss Jackson. Okay, first of all, before I Whoa. Okay, Miss okay, Jackson. Miss Jackson. Um I guess if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. I don't agree with what's going on in the United States. Putting tampons in men's bathrooms. Like, what is that? That, that is, is sick. Extreme. That is demonic. That is and just... I do not agree with that. 
It's kind of perverted. I way. don't even understand it. Men don't bleed. <laughs> why, why would you need tampons in a men's bathroom? I'm starting to feel very unsafe, you know, as a woman. Like, what, like, what is this? That like, means that if tampons go into your bathroom, then urinals will come into my bathroom. I'm, 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 I will feel disgusted. We don't even use the same bathroom. Exactly. And we're husband and wife. You have your you own have your separate own bathroom. bathroom. I have my own. <sighs> you know, um, I, I, I just don't understand that law. Want to be pushed into law. I mean, <sighs> I get why one. there are lots of black people who are voting for Kamala Harris. Because uh, th there are so many black people who are being race baited. And they I mean, think that they have like, to, you know, they think it's a loyalty thing. Like, okay, I'm black. I have to vote for the black woman. But what if, you know, you are being tricked into a vote just to do demonic things? Like, once they take these offices, like, what are their plans? What are their agendas? Is it is voting for the Democratic Party going to better the country it that's shouldn't why be about what color you are i like to hear from the people that's in the community the community such as miss jackson it's just to see what's on her mind and what do she think about this and she clearly laid it all out on the line it's like do you, you know what i'm saying no way your tax dollars are going like this is just not your right. hard-earned tax dollars are going to putting tampons in the men's bathroom. And then on top of that, in the prisons, okay, your tax dollars is going into the prisons to help transgenders get a reassignment surgery. A surgery. <laughs> or whatever the case may be. It's it's sick. It does not make any sense when you have people in the community struggling, you know what I'm saying, trying to make ends meet. Living from paycheck to paycheck, trying to take care of their family. Now, I'm not <clears throat> saying the Republicans aren't corrupt. I'm not saying that. Because some of them are very corrupt. Oh, I it's mean, this, just, this is a two-way street. When this I is think just about one... the future of my kids, you have to pick one or the other. Exactly. And exactly. I think that my children will be safer under the views of... Of the Republican Party. Um, I mean, it's sad, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to live like this anymore. We need a change. We need a big change. We need to see a difference. And she was saying that they had signs up basically for the... Um, like a hate crime, putting that, up signs yeah. that, you know, with the zip locks and all of that stuff. Um, it's just a disgrace. You know, um, for the illegal immigrants. Basically. Yeah, um, you know, black people. That could start a, a war in it, it, Chicago. It really within could the, be the towns, the communities. Yeah, like it, it really could be big. It's not right. And um, really can be detrimental to our life. You know, this this can change our life. Like I can see the agenda, and I love all people. But basically, it doesn't matter if you're straight, if you're gay. I love people. I mean, but people are I people. don't agree with taking the rights of women to appease tra the transgender community. It isn't right. What about our rights? Yes. What about our rights as women? Absolutely. My and love. men. And, and men. And men. And our like, children don't need to I be think learning about this. Transgender should have their own rights. You know, like, just don't make no sense. Their own bathroom. It makes no sense. It's trying to be like a mixed group here. No, let's keep things separate. Most definitely. You know, it's, it just doesn't make sense. Um, all right, guys. So we heard from Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson um, was on fire. Miss Jackson, she went off. I she respect whatever Miss Jackson said. Um, she wanted to speak out. She can voice her opinion. And we heard her voice today. You know, and I like to hear other people's voices that's inside the community. Not the high ups. Right. Most you know, definitely. we didn't hear from you guys. Let's hear from the people. The people. The people voice. And it seems like no one cares about the people. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's we're like going to use you guys Trump, Trump, for the vote. Kamala. And then after that, like, we don't want to hear anymore. Listen to the people. We just need your vote. 
That's it. We don't need to hear your voices. We just need to vote. That's not right. It you know, let's right. go into every state, every city, every town. Let's hear from these people. Let them speak out so we can get a better, clear vision of what's going on in these communities. Most definitely. Um, all right, guys. Um, I think this is, this is, this is well needed. Yes. We just need to hear voices. And we're not trying to convert anybody to any party. No. We're not trying to say, because go and vote red or go and vote for the Republican. We're not saying at that. At the end of the day. We're just telling you guys how we feel, okay? I really feel like we just stuck in the middle. Like, you, you know what I mean? It's like we just stuck in the middle. It's like, yeah, like what's going on here? You know, but at the end of the day, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and also get inside the comment section. We would love to hear what you guys got to say about this. Yes. Um, and we definitely appreciate everybody watching, joining us. We thank you so very much. That's our time. We signing off. It's your boy Sean. And your girl Mel. You already know, guys. Have an amazing day on purpose. Do it on purpose. S &M squad. God bless. Peace. Peace.